Stephanie, you may kiss your groom. Hello everybody, welcome here. Today would not be the same without all of your friends and family here to celebrate. So, for those of you here today, welcome. Thank you so much for being here today to celebrate and show your support of Steph and Shervin. You've impacted their lives and shaped who they are, and having you here today makes this day so much more special. Shervin, you are more than a friend to me. You are like a brother. We have laughed together, cried together, and supported each other through thick and thin. And today, as I stand here witnessing your union, I am filled with joy knowing that you have found someone that will stand by your side for the rest of your life. As I reflect on our journey together, from our epic grave days to our trip to Hawaii, I feel a deep sense of gratitude for the friendship that we have nurtured over the years. I think with Shervin, him and I would go way back. We've been through so much. I could just basically stand here and talk about Shervin for hours and hours and hours. One thing that does come to mind is I like to be a little, you know, uh, adventurous when it comes to food. Not Shervin. I'm telling you, there be, there'd be times that I would beg this guy to come with me and go check out this new restaurant. He only ate the same food every single day. He would go to a Persian restaurant and buy the same meal. He would buy 10 of them. Then we go to New Zealand and I'm just following Shervin and Steph on Instagram at that point. And I start seeing Shervin going to all these restaurants that I was basically for 10 or 20 years trying to get him to go to. And he's messaging me, he's like, Oh my God, have you tried this place? I'm like, are you joking me? I tried to take you there, man, a thousand times. In my first day of homeroom, there was Steph and that laugh. <laughs> that laugh. <laughs> It was like a ray of sunshine that filled my ears. I've seen her grow into this multifaceted phenom who exudes confidence, beauty. I've always admired her strength and her drive. And because of those defining Stephisms, yes, it's coined now Stephisms, <laughs> I knew I could always rely on her to stand in my corner. Steph. Um, you are the only person I will go commando for at a wedding. <laughs> Just to let you know. Just to let you know. When I met you, you were the sweetest person. So open and kind to the point where people thought it was too good to be true. You are truly an unreal person. Please rise for the bride. When we were kids, I think it was a field trip to Grouse Mountain and we would pass by waterfalls. So like little trickles of water coming down the rock. And Steph would always say, oh my God, so romantic. Look at the waterfalls, look at the waterfalls. And uh, I'm so happy that she got proposed to a waterfall. To the Sia and Asgari Poor family, do you welcome Shervin and Stephanie into your families and bless this marriage today? <laughs> 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 
Steph and Shervin are not only bringing two lives together, but two families and two cultures. It's important to them to celebrate who they are and where they come from. You know that saying, the right person will come along when you least expect it? Well, I didn't know at the time, but that saying rang so true for me. For some unbeknownst reason, I leaned into that what a feeling, and I took a chance, and that led me to you. You were patient, you were kind, you weren't afraid to wear your heart in your sleeve. Slowly but surely, I began to let my guard down. You showed me what love could be, like picking me up every single day when we first met, buying me flowers every single time we had an encounter, never letting me open the car door, and just listening to me when I was feeling frustrated and then hurt. You taught me what real love was, and that it could exist, and that it was attainable and within reach. Even from the very first four-hour talk that we had on your couch drinking Taylor Flagate port, it just hit differently. I couldn't be more proud to be standing across someone whom I love and respect immensely, who has taught me to be the best partner that I can be, and is someone I will continue to grow with and to grow old with. Boo boo. <laughs> <laughs> Loving you has been the wildest ride, the ultimate adventure, and the best chapter of my life so far. I promise to support you, to love you unconditionally, and to let you know when you're snoring too loudly at night. I love you so much, and I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you as your wife. My sweetest Steph, the anticipation of this day has been immense. And to say that I'm a little bit nervous is an understatement. I've pictured this day and this moment a thousand times in my mind, but as I behold you now, my heart is filled with joy and disbelief, for you look even more beautiful today than I ever imagined possible. You have shown me a love that surpasses all boundaries. You've been there for me on my best days and on my worst days. I pledge to be your biggest supporter, cheering you on in all your endeavors and lending a helping hand whenever you may need one. Together we will explore the corners of the world hand in hand, creating memories that will be forever etched in our hearts. I promise to be your companion, your partner in wanderlust, as we embark on an extraordinary journey together. I know in my soul that you will one day become the best incredible mother, showering our children and our future pets with boundless love and attention. And I vow to do my part to cherish and always keep our love as strong as it is today. You are my soulmate, my partner, my best friend, and the love of my life. Today, I vow to be the best version of myself for you, to grow old alongside you, and to build a future filled with laughter, joy, and profound love. I give you my whole heart, and I vow to love you unconditionally, for better or worse, in sickness and in health, until the end of time with all my love and forever yours. It is now with great joy in front of all of your closest family and friends that I now pronounce you officially married. Stephanie, you may kiss your groom. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome with me for the very first time as a brand new married couple, Shervin and Stephanie.
ever get in trouble, you end up in jail or something, I'm just gonna say a, a good friend will come and bail you out. But your best friend, Steph, will be sitting in the cell right next to you saying, damn, that was fun. <laughs> I wish you guys all the best. Let's have a toast, let's cheers to the couple. And to our new family, see ya as Gary Poor family. I love you all. <laughs>